All right, so number 66 is the last problem in the in the pro and it says that there's a a carnival clown rides a motorcycle around a ramp uh, a loop de loop and and the radius of the loop de loop is 18 meters and it wants to know uh, with what speed does he have to be going to make that loop because you know if if you go up if you go too slow you're going to go up and then you fall down you probably maybe experienced this when you were a kid when you're swinging on a swing and and you swing so far as you fall straight down and it just and the chain grabs you and it's a, it's a real jerky motion but if you could if you could swing fast enough you'd swing around that all the way around it but you you can't work your way up to it you have to go all at once or you just can't go past the horizontal anyway so as long as as soon as you pass by the horizontal you're toast unless you're going fast enough. So uh, the, the trick to this is um, there's a centripetal force turning you, and, but that has to be equal to gravity. When the centripetal force equals gravity, you can make the corner. And remember to find how much you weigh. It's just 9.8 times your mass, m. And the centripetal force is m v squared over r. Now just like in problem number uh, 65, it doesn't matter what mass you have. You can make up a mass. Let's say his mass is 100 or 10 or 50 or whatever, but you're gonna, it's going to end up canceling out. The radius is 18 and 9.8 v squared. So it turns out um, that you just multiply this over that it, when you do a loop-de-loop, -loop, it only depends on how big the circle is. So in this case, uh, the answer is going to be 13 meters per second. But when you when you do when you go around a loop-de-loop, -loop, it doesn't matter what your uh, how big you are. It only matters how fast you're going because how fast you're going relates directly to the radius of the loop-de-loop.